You're listening to Daily Minute Devotionals. Thanks for stopping by on this beautiful Thursday morning or whenever you're listening to this because YouTube is forever, or at least theoretically, until the platform goes away. Uh, but that's, that's another story for another time. The title of today's devotion is His Terms, Not Ours. If at any point in time you like what you hear, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already uh, and you're interested in receiving just a little bit of Jesus every single morning. Every single morning without fail at 6 a.m. Okay, maybe with fail every once in a while if uh, for some reason I'm late to post the video. But sometime during the day for sure and almost always at 6 a.m. Great way to start your day off with a little bit of Jesus in the right way. Get your day going in the right direction. Uh, yeah, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. The title of today's devotion, His Terms, Not Ours. Scripture, with their flocks and herds, they shall go to seek the Lord, but they will not find him. He has withdrawn himself from them. Hosea 5, 6. When your heart is far from God, his ways will seem puzzling and his guidance less important. When your heart is far from God, his voice will be muted and his word, if you even read it, will seem strange. You might think, God is always there for me, but don't presume upon him. Our sin distances us from our holy God, and it may keep us from hide, finding him in times of distress. As the nation of Israel had to learn the hard way, God is available to us on his terms, not ours. That's interesting uh, to be reminded of that. God's available on his terms, not ours. A lot of us probably tend to forget that at times. We may presume on God's presence, but that does not mean he will be there for us like we thought. Uh, that's an interesting concept, too, because I think we all uh, tend to believe that God will always be there for us. And, and you know, maybe there's some debate to be had there, but uh, I think it is true that he's there on his terms. Uh, so go to him on his terms. Return humbly and with a pure and contrite heart, with a willingness to both learn from him and to serve him with an openness to being filled by him and used by him. You'll see that the more you revere the Lord, the more Christ-like you become, the more you will understand God's ways, and the more readily you will follow him. This devotion comes out of Discovering God's Daily Agenda, a devotional by Henry and Richard Blackaby. Thanks for listening. Have a fantastic day. And remember, when your heart is far from God, his ways will seem puzzling and his guidance less important, but he is there. He may be there on his terms, but he's there. Talk to him. Discuss things with him. Ask for his help. Uh, lay your burdens on him because he, 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 uh, he can definitely shoulder them for you. Have a great day. God bless.